Best Microsoft Planner Tips and Tricks. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the different tips and tricks that you can use to help using in Microsoft 365's new planner. Now there have been some upgrades in the Microsoft 365 planner and some are more dynamic than others. However, with these simple tips and tricks, you can easily boost your efficiency and your productivity. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to Microsoft 365. From here, if you click on apps over here, you can open up your planner. Now Planner or Microsoft To Go also has this application. So if you want to use uh, the application version, you can also do that. And I'll show you guys what the application version also looks like because the planner to do is a little different than the web version. It has a better UI. It has just a cleaner outlook and can be a bit easier to use, especially if you are someone that has, you know, uh, wanted to use uh, a desktop built-in application. So this is the simple planner application that we can see on top of our browser over here. This is slightly different than the browser application. So this is the browser application. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use both of these tools as well. So let's jump right in. Now, the first and foremost change that you're going to see in Microsoft's planner is the integration with other applications. So if I open up my planner over here, I have my first workflow. In that workflow, I have different buckets and a really important section that we always miss out on is the scheduling section. So you can now go into schedule and take a look at any of your end scheduled tasks from the right panel and move them on to a particular date. Now you can also group them by buckets, priorities, assignees, and other features. Now, if you go into Outlook over here, this is my Outlook account. And even in Outlook, you can go on ahead and click on your tasks over here. And this will open up your calendar and your to-dos. And you can click on the to-do on the left as well and get access to your tasks on the to-do section under Outlook. Now, once you do that, this can help you in reading emails and creating tasks as you go. So let's say I want to add a task is um, maybe to have a meeting with ENT Corp CEO. So I can just add that over here and this can be an easier way for you to note down your tasks and you can also schedule them and then you're going to also be able to do them in your planner. Same goes for the integration of the planner within Microsoft Teams. So now if you open up Microsoft Teams, you're going to be able to see a section on the left called planner and if you click on this, this opens up my planner. I can click on my plans over here to see the different types of sections in my planner. And I can also view things that are assigned to me as well as just take a look at my day. And this can be really helpful in making sure that whenever you're taking meetings or you're just trying to move on the go, you're able to understand what tasks you still have remaining, what you still have to do and what is going to be on your plate for the next day. Now, what happens if you are working on your desktop and you want something really simultaneous alongside your planner? So if you're working on your desktop, you can click on the Microsoft To-Do application. This is available for both Mac and Windows devices, and you can easily open up this application. Now I can click on the top left corner to view my entire day and see any tasks that I have remaining. Then after that, we have an important section where tasks can be stored and stored in. Below that, I have a planned section. In this section, I will see all the tasks that have been planned, and I can also see the assigned to me tasks. Then we also have flagged emails and tasks that are uncategorized. Now you will see the difference between planned and uncategorized tasks is that you can sometimes jolt down tasks into Teams or into your Outlook account, but they won't be directly put in your planner. And for that reason, you're gonna find them present in the task section. Now you can click on new list at the bottom and create your own new list. So simply create your own new list for any new list that you are creating. Now, a really important feature, especially for 
planners when you're using them for a younger audience is their printable features. So if I go into my tasks, I can click on the top right and I can click on duplicate list and duplicate the list or I can simply click on print list. This will allow you to print any task list that you have. So if you're planning class agendas or if you're planning meeting notes or meeting agendas or a team workflow, having that printed out can make a really large impact on a lot of people. Now, let's get started with some of our connectivity with our planner. So, if you want to connect different elements of your planner into Outlook or MS Teams, right now they are directly integrated, and you can change your language and your time zone to update any changes, and they would be simultaneously applied to the rest of the sections of your Microsoft 365 account. Because everything works in a centralized hub right now, you are able to easily integrate things like Calendly, so you can also schedule meetings and do much more. Now, to integrate your planner with your to-do and your calendar, simply go on to 365 and open up your Microsoft calendar. Now, once you open up your Microsoft calendar, on the right, you will see a people section and an app section. So in your app section, you can go on ahead and search for your planner. And I already have the planner installed in the form of the to do. And I can simply add the tasks over here. And then once I do that, I can view them in the different types of events that I have for the day ahead. Now, you can also view this in the form of daily, weekly, just one week or monthly events. And you can click on, on the top left to view mail events and bookable time. You can also go ahead and click on your calendar settings like so. Once you click on your calendar settings, you will be able to sync up the days that you might be working or taking classes with your entire calendar. This is going to help you whenever you're writing down a new task and scheduling it in your calendar instead of it being just a random event scheduled for a random time you are going to be able to make sure that your time schedule is synced up and to do this in an easier way you can click on the top right over here under tasks and you will be able to add a new task for any particular date. You can also click on your to-do list and simply drag and drop your tasks from your to-do directly onto the calendar. Keep in mind you can drag one task multiple times. So unless it's a recurring task, it's your own responsibility to set up a task as an individual task. And once it is complete, you can mark it as completed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to use Microsoft's planner more effectively with these simple tips and tricks. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.